Hello and welcome to this uh, little tutorial on which I will explain how to put a uh, text spiraling downward into a spiral. Let's create a spiral, maintaining shift and control to maintain a proportion. OK. And uh, we can see here how many turns or revolution the spiral has, of course we also can set the divergence, the distance between lines, internal lines, and then the inner radius, it means the distance from the center line to the uh, first uh, nodes of the uh, spiral. Now uh, the uh, principle we are about to apply is uh, the pattern along path. The pattern will be uh, the text we are about to write and the path is the spiral but uh, the spiral is a object a shape we have to transform it in a, a path with the object to path function now now we are ready to input our text Okay, uh, we can enlarge it a bit, mm -hmm. and then we have to can transform it to a path two. Now uh, we have to give a perspective effect to this uh, text, and so we have to uh, draw a perspective guide, pressing Control to be sure. We have straight lines here. Now, okay, this is the uh, path along which the pattern will be uh, tilted and skewed to give it a, a perspective uh, uh, effect. First of all, <coughs> using uh, both a perspective effect and a pattern along path, every time the pattern must be. Uh, top of the path so we have to select it and put it top with uh, this, this uh, command then select both and apply extension modify path perspective after waiting a few seconds we will have our modified text now we have to put it inside uh, it's not time to give a gradient, colored gradient, because if I put now the gradient, uh, probably I will lost it during the translation on on the transition, sorry, on the spiral. So I have to put the uh, text on spiral in a, a downward uh, direction. Let's see if the uh, spiral as the correct direction by selecting it using by nodes okay choosing a node and using a tab key we can uh, check the direction of the spiral let's see as you can see the spiral moves outward so we have to reverse its direction by path reverse now pressing again tab we can see we have set the correct uh, direction now we select both the spiral is already selected so pressing shift and clicking we select both and we can use extension uh, generate from path and pattern along path function it will open a window with some option uh, let's have a live preview to say what uh, the option means. Oops. Okay. Repeated means that the text is repeated until the spiral ends. It's not what we want. It's uh, single stretched. It means it's adapted. Let's see. It's heavily deformed, but could be the right solution. This is the snake effect. He puts the 
the text uh, flatten it on the spiral instead the ribbon has a different effect as you can see as a putting a ribbon on the table okay we accept this uh, configuration by clicking apply and then closing we can dismiss our original test and we can also dismiss the spiral we have our text and uh, okay we have to put the gradient on it let's uh, see the fill and stroke windows i opened it by clicking here but could be also uh, invoked by shift ctrl f key or by object fill and stroke command on the menu let's select a gradient as you can see the gradient now is only a black to fading um, gradient we have to edit this one until we uh, obtain what we want we select okay this uh, the instrument gradient but from black to the round one is the final uh, stop it is a transparent one so stop 5024 it's a black one so it's this yeah we modify it uh, say on blue it became a blue the second stop is uh, 5026 is transparent let's see we can put it on white and sliding this command to full opacity okay if you want to add some other steps inside let's click add stop we have other three stops okay we can move it by clicking and dragging okay the same for this mm. <coughs> okay let's see became pretty heavy to transform now okay we have some color to define select this stop we change it on red and we can change this this one is this with some other color let's uh, have a green now we have uh, this uh, gradient and uh, the game is is over uh, we could have put the gradient on the text before the transformation but the gradient uh, will not be follow the the text uh, to say if i put the q uh, full uh, uh, green it will not appear green uh, and then uh, fading following the test it will be uh, a gradient put along the uh, spiral like is uh, the fi this final result and this is what i mean the t is blue and uh, the a is yellow when i put it on the um, spiral the text turn blue so i have to put the gradient manually on the, the spiral so it's uh, useless to put the gradient the gradient before applying the effect hope you enjoy this tutorial and enjoy inkscape